to the lesson of the week with yours truly, Sean Thunder Wallace. I'm a performer, composer, and professor of music at The Ohio State University. This weekly program is designed to inspire and inform the serious music student. We're all students here, so join me on the path of discovery as we learn together. It, it works better like if you have a, I mean like as an exercise, this works a little better if you have like a specific pattern in, a, in mind. You know, and then you can say, okay. What kind of pattern could work of like doing that? Like anything? Well, it could be anything. I mean, you you know, it's like the whole. It's like improvisation is kind of a kind of a problem solving type of thing, where you know you play whatever pattern and you try to find out where you can play it, what you can get away with. If you need to change stuff, how do you change it so that it's still musical? You know, it's it's you know it's that kind of thing. So, like, if, I mean, you could take a take a pattern that's pretty much, it's just a pattern. It's a you know a diminished pattern or whatever it is, something that's symmetrical. And you take that pattern and you figure out all the places that you can play the pattern. Then after you figure out all the places that you can play the pattern, then uh, then you start changing the pattern in certain ways or changing certain portions of the pattern to fit the changes a little more in certain areas. Okay, and then once you start doing that, then it's like, okay, now let me see uh, what are the different ways I can harmonize each motive or each each fragment of the pattern so that, you know, you know, so then it's like, okay, now I can play like all of this stuff that's like based on that pattern basically. So then when I start improvising, you know, it's like, you know, I can I can continue to it, it sounds like I'm developing a lot of stuff as I'm playing. When really what's happening, and you are developing stuff as it's going, but really what's happening is that you're so familiar with that pattern and all kinds of other things that you can do with it that it's nothing to just to just play that and just and to be comfortable, you know, playing different things, and then you then you end up playing a bunch of stuff that you hadn't thought of too, because you're because you're more comfortable with being able to play the, you know, all kinds of different ideas based on the pattern. So that's that's really what it is. It's it's like it's being able to play concepts and ideas that are based on a pattern or based on whatever pattern that you're doing. So if you can try to, you know, carve out some some time in your improvisation, you know, to to say, okay, okay, this is the pattern. Okay, now let me let me try to develop some stuff based on this. And see how far I can go with that. I was thinking, like, I kind of want to uh, start working on when I'm practicing improvisation is to play stuff that, like, don't play anything that I know I can play. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of want to get away from playing stuff that that you're comfortable with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think triad pairs are going to help a lot with that. Mm -hmm. I'll say, um, like, in your practice time, you should have time, some time where you're like, okay, you should ha you should have some time where you're where you're playing a lot of the same. Oh, okay, no, that's wrong. In your practice time, you want to have a time period where you're where you're working a lot of stuff out. So, like, say, where you have like a list of specific things that you're trying to work out over the changes, and specific things that you're trying to do, all of that, and it can be extremely detailed, rhythmic stuff, chromatic stuff, harmonic stuff, you know, pattern-oriented stuff, linear. Uh, related stuff, two fives, turnarounds, you know, you, you can just keep going on and on with the, with, the, with the different kinds of stuff, okay? So you want to have time when you're doing that, and then you just need time where you just play. Where you just, you just put the horn in your mouth and you just play whatever is coming out. And my, my suggestion to people is like in the practice room, uh, if you're going to record any portion of your practice time, it should be the time when you're just, when you're just playing. I, I record myself sometimes doing that. Yeah. And 
because that that will give you an idea. I would say do it every time you practice. Right. Yeah. But but that'll give you an idea if how what you're practicing is influencing how your improvisation is going. Yeah. You know. Sometimes I just feel like you know I'll practice something like a two five or something and like I mean I'll even play it over the two fives and stuff, but it's uh -huh. like I just don't like I just don't incorporate it sometimes. And like, that's okay. That's okay because But I feel like it's like well because I like I know that it's to get familiar with all the keys and everything, but I I also think like you know did I just waste my time learning that if I'm ever going to use it or something? No, this is this this is how this works a lot of times. See, it's okay if it doesn't it doesn't come out immediately. Eventually, it will come out. You know, and it. Eventually, that stuff will come out. Like today, I heard you quote part of one of those two fives, one of the first two fives that I had you learn. Was it that Woody Shaw one? Mm -hmm. I've been. I actually. Uh, I like the shape at the beginning of that two five actually. Mm -hmm. Like especially. I heard you play the beginning. Of it. Right. And I'm I'm trying to, like I've been listening to a lot of Woody Shaw stuff too, so I'm like trying to figure out some more intervallic stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's I worked that two five out on this tune specifically. So yeah, so I mean, so I'm I'm, I'm hearing stuff come out. So, but and, and I definitely can hear the influence of certain things that you're learning. So you know, but you know, it's okay if this stuff doesn't come out immediately because what'll happen? You keep you know you're religiously you're going through the two fives and you're really really getting a lot of stuff happening. What's going to happen? is, and it'll feel like an epiphany, but what will happen is all of a sudden you'll start playing a bunch of this stuff that you were dealing with like a year ago or a year and a half ago, you know, and, and it's like, wait a minute, where did that come from? And you might not even ever know where it came from, but really it probably came from because you, you were practicing. Yeah. You know, so... Sometimes it takes a while for that stuff to manifest in your playing, and uh, uh, you know you you want to. Sometimes you have to force the issue. Okay, like I, t I talk to cats about being proactive with their with their playing. What is it? What do you mean? Exactly? Well, you know, whenever you're listening to music and you don't understand what's going on. It's your responsibility to figure it out. Now, does that mean like you can't hear it harmonically, or does that mean like what exactly? Like you don't know what's going on. What is that exactly? Mean? Well, if you can't play it, you can't hear it. You don't know exactly what's going on. You you don't understand exactly how that fits on that chord change, or or anything about it. Anything musically about it, theoretically about it. You know, technically about it, anything at all. all right. If there's anything about it at all, um, if there's like a vibe on it that you don't understand or that you that you're having a hard time quantifying, that too. It's like it's like everything. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just e everything about it. But <clears throat> so okay. So you you, you want to be able to uh, you know do that. But then the other part of it is like okay, if that stuff is not coming out of your horn. When you're playing, then you have to address that also. That's something you have to address too. You have to say, okay, why is it not coming out of my horn? What you know? Is there something I need to practice more of? Something I need to practice less of? If I'm, why is is it taking so long for this to affect my playing? Or why is this happening? Or why is that happening? Or why is it not happening? Mm -hmm. You know, you have to constantly be asking those questions, be reevaluating, you know, what you're doing. Be, you know, mixing stuff up, changing stuff up, whatever you have to do.